Hello and welcome to the overview video for the Launchpad Pro. The Launchpad Pro is the perfect control surface for your Ableton Live sets, external MIDI instruments and devices, or any other DAW that you are using. The Launchpad Pro is a development from the original Launchpad from Novation. And in this video, we'll be having a look at how we can use the Launchpad Pro to control our Ableton Live sets. We'll look at the session mode, the note mode, device control mode, and the user mode. In this section, we're going to explore the session mode of Launchpad Pro. The session mode is the mission control of Launchpad Pro. And we're going to explore how we can use the 8x8 grid of buttons to trigger clips and loops in our Ableton Live set. And we'll also look at some of the brand new functionality that we have with Launchpad Pro. This is the session mode of Launchpad Pro. To access the various different modes, we can use the top right circular buttons. To go to session mode, simply press the button labeled session. In this page, the 8x8 grid of Launchpad Pro allows us to trigger and launch clips. The lit buttons show me that I have a clip available to play. To launch that clip, just simply push the button. If I want to stop any clip, I can easily do so by pressing an empty clip button, or I can use the stop clip function on the circle button on the bottom row of Launchpad Pro. Simply press and hold the button, press the appropriate channel on the bottom row of Launchpad buttons, and that will stop the clip. If I want to launch a whole row of Launchpad buttons, or a scene as it's known, I can use the circular buttons down the right hand side. Pushing one of these buttons will launch all of the clips available to me on that particular scene. Down the left hand side we have various different function buttons. These include being able to turn the click track on and off. I have a delete button which will allow me to delete any clips that I don't need. If I make a mistake, I can easily use the undo button to bring back the clips that I've deleted. If I need to redo any actions, I can hold the shift button and press the undo button to redo that last action. We also have access to a quantize button. If I have any MIDI files that need to be quantized, I can easily press the quantize button, press the appropriate clip, and that will quantize the notes in that particular clip. If I want to duplicate any clips, again I can press and hold the duplicate button, press the appropriate clip, and a duplicate is created in the next available slot. At the bottom of the left hand side we have the record button. This is a very important button on Launchpad Pro and allows me to easily set the clip into record mode and out again. 